Hey guys, today we are cooking Bertoli chicken florentine and farfalle and garlic breadsticks. It is Arika Misha guys and today this is what we are cooking. Y'all know I love the Bertoli. I love the Bertoli. So uh, this is another one that I have not cooked. It is called chicken florentine and that is pronounced farfalle. Yes, I googled it. Knowledge is power. Get you some. Yes, farfalle, meaning butterfly, because of the noodles. The noodles are the little funny looking noodles, kind of reminds you of a butterfly. But yeah guys, chicken florentine and farfalle. Farfalle, I feel Italian. No, well, okay, alright, y'all don't do that. But anyway, this is what we're cooking today. We've got three bags, you guys know I like to have three bags so we can have leftovers. And we've got, y'all know I love myself some Publix, garlic breadsticks. Quick easy dinner let's go because I got my pot over here all hot and ready and y'all know how the pot be doing chai when it's hot and ready we getting right into it today we is not playing around let go y'all have seen me cook the Bertoli meals if you haven't please reference my videos my other videos on my channel I'm gonna go ahead and get this open Get it dumped in. Of course, I will show you guys what it looks like. In my pan, like I said, it is all nice and hot and ready to get it done. And before I forget to tell you guys, I did put two tablespoons of oil in the bottom of my pot to help everything get cooked and move along. Two tablespoons of oil. I've got my first bag in. Let's get this second and third bag in because this does not take long to cook at all. Usually takes the mind about 10 or 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Cause I like to cook it, you know, the right way. But it doesn't take long to cook these. We love the Bertoli. We love the Bertoli. Ooh, we are getting full. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Gotta love Bertoli. Gotta love the Bertoli. Taking you guys in so you guys can see what I am working with. And of course, these little small pieces right here, these are your sauces. It's like pretty much they cooked it and then they froze it. So these little squares are our sauce. They will melt and create our sauce. And these, okay, let me get, get one. These are our farfalle noodles. Farfalle. I like how that sounds. Farfalle, farfalle, farfalle. Anyway, let me stop before I say something else. All right, and that means butterfly. All right, and of course you guys can see that's our stove all preheated um, for our garlic bread. I'm gonna go ahead and get that garlic bread in too. Um, I'll do that after I get this all situated. But I love the squares of sauce. Let me bring it in so you guys can see. Just a nice square of sauce that melts down. And then of course you guys see you've got, we've got the greenery in there. Everything looks good. All right, let me see what's all in here. <clears throat> Far filet grilled with meat, chicken, and farm grown spinach and a rich Parmesan and white wine sauce. That's what they're saying is in here, guys. That's, that's all the good stuff that's in there. Ooh, Charlie got some wine in there? I don't know about that. I, I, I might need a little sip of something. Sip of something, y'all. Got some wine in it. <laughs> Woo! All right. We're going to let this just melt itself down. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the chicken. The pieces of chicken. Duh. Look at those nice big chunks of chicken that's in there. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be giving me no little kibbles and bits. I want all my stuff what I paid for. So, all right. I'm sure everything is melting down there. Let's do a little stirring. Let me mix it up a little bit. See what's going on down there. Everything is melting. Stir it up a little bit. And then I'm going to cover it up. Look at that, guys. Look at those big chunks of sauce that's going to melt. 
this is going to be really good. I'm going to see if I need to add any salt. I usually have to add, you guys know I usually have to add a little salt, a little pepper. But it's looking good down there. Everything is melting together. So, I'm going to cut my heat down a little bit. Cutting my heat down to like a medium heat. Mix it up a little bit. Looking good down there. Mixing it up. Looking good. Okay. All right. Looking good down there. Mm-hmm. Everything is melting. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. We're going to cover that up. Gonna let that heat get everything all hot and bothered and melted. We're gonna go ahead and let that do what it do. Now let's go back over here to our garlic bread sticks. Let me make sure I position you guys right. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Zoom y'all back out. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our garlic bread all ready. Get that in the oven. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Okay, so our garlic bread instructions are real easy. It says here preheat the oven 425 and put it in the oven for three or four minutes. See, yeah, see these breadsticks cook real fast. That's what I'm talking about. Four minutes for the breadsticks, about 15 minutes for your bertoli, and 20 minutes you've got dinner. And this is how they come, all nice and garlicky. Garlicky, I'll be creating words. Garlicky. But yeah, these these are I've cooked these a million times. These are really garlicky. They are like covered in garlic. So and I've got my pan covered in aluminum foil. I did spray a little oil so that my garlic bread doesn't stick. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it like that. And I like how Publix garlic sticks give you a, a lot of garlic and butter on it they not stingy with the garlic and butter don't get me no dry butter sticks garlic sticks cuz I ain't gonna eat them all right okay reminds me of the Olive Garden's um, garlic bread it really does okay all right so we've got our garlic bread down let me wash my hands real quick you guys see how that garlic bread is looking okay it's already nice and all oh, got a whole bunch of garlic on it it's got a little green on it. it's already got a little parsley on it but y'all already know I'm gonna add more parsley y'all already know <laughs> I don't care about that little bit of parsley I'm gonna add some more parsley so speaking of parsley here he goes our star of the show parsley and I want to go ahead and add it now so as the garlic melts and these cook our parsley is already there already there yes <laughs> or oh, whatever whatever okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get that garlic bread in the oven guys let's go back over here don't get dizzy y'all sorry y'all Let's go over here and check on our chicken Florentine. Let me get this top off. Oh yeah, that's sounding real good. Make sure you guys can see. Oh yeah, we well, are all in the business. Okay, okay, that's cool, okay. All right, I've got my heat turned down, so. Mixing it up. That sauce is starting to melt down there. Just want to mix it up like that. Look at all that spinach in there. Ooh wee! Look at all that spinach, y'all. Look at all that spinach. Let me take y'all in. Ooh, y'all know I gotta show y'all. Look at all that. Look at all of that green. I think they put too much green in my bag, but okay. 
room for that. Woo -wee. We need the green, y'all. We need the green. Y'all know we not big on greens. So, I definitely get the greens in there when I can for us. Definitely. Gotta have the greens, guys. Gotta have your greens. I ain't talking about collard greens, but you know, them, them good too, but I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Everything is coming together. Ooh-wee. It smells so good. It smells all Italian and, you know, mm -mm -mm. you can smell all the, the Parmesan and the spices and the season in that spinach. Yeah, you can smell that too. Y'all know spinach has a little smell, so, but it's not bad. It smells really good. Mixed in with this Parmesan and this chicken and, oh, yes. It's coming together, y'all. It is coming together. It is melting its way down. Oh yeah. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Look at that. Ooh. That looks real good. Really does look good. Make sure y'all can see. It looks really, really good. Everything is starting. To, and see how that whole big pile just cooked itself down? That's all it does. It looks like a lot in the beginning, but because it's all frozen, but. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. It looks so good. It looks good. Nice and creamy. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Y'all can't tell me that. It looks so good. Let me see if I can get y'all a get y'all a better look down in the pot. Oh yeah. 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 That's it. Taking y'all in. Okay now. I'm taking the people in so you can get a good look. Camera. Mm hmm Okay, there it is. Oh yeah. Y'all see it. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. It looks delicious. I'm going to leave y'all right there. Let me put this garlic bread in the oven. It looks good. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot in that oven. 425 degrees. Say for four minutes, I'm going to put my timer on. For four minutes, I do believe in putting my timer on because sometimes I can get so busy and I forget about stuff. So make sure y'all putting y'all timer on so y'all won't forget about y'all food and burn y'all food. Been there, done that. Okay. Ooh. This is really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I got y'all all in the business. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. That looks so good. Mmm. Ooh -wee. Amazing. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, so now let me taste the sauce. Yep, I definitely need to add, I'm going to add some garlic pepper. Adding garlic pepper. Because one thing about the Bertolis, I love the Bertolis. We love the Bertolis, but they can be a little bland. They can be a little bland, you know. So, I'm adding, I'm adding some garlic, garlic pepper. All right, adding some garlic pepper. I'm adding some seasoning salt, you know, the all around season. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not adding any parsley to this. Yep, I said that, I did say that. I'm not adding any parsley to this. Because it, this has plenty of green in it. Plenty of green. It does not need any more green. It's got a whole lot of spinach in there. This is plenty of green. I don't need to add parsley. So, <clears throat> I've added my garlic pepper, my seasoning salt. I'm going to get that all mixed up. Get that all mixed in real good. 
and then I'll see how it tastes. I'm sure I probably won't have to add anything else. So get that all mixed up. Let me taste the sauce and see how it is. Oh, that's good. That is real good. That is really, really good. I don't need to add anything else. That is seasoned perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit down in the sauce for a little while longer. Let it sit down in that sauce. So the noodles can finish soaking in all the goodness. Don't forget to use your plastic or your wooden with your pots and pans so you're not scraping them up and scratching them all up. Preserving your cookware, preserving your money, preserving what you paid for. So, ooh, it is looking good, y'all. It is looking real good. All right, so we're going to let that simmer for about another, I'll probably let it, uh, another two or three minutes um because my noodles look like they still needed to be you know cooked a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and let that uh yeah I'm gonna be pulling that garlic bread out too so all right guys when I come back quick and easy meal we already finished I'm gonna pull the bread out quick and easy meal 15 minutes 15 minutes for your Bertoli uh five minutes or well, three or four minutes for your bread that's it 20 minutes yeah pretty much all right guys I will be back to show you the final cut okay guys we are back everything is out of the oven uh well the garlic sticks are out of the oven three to four minutes four minutes is all it took and our bertoli 15 minutes that's all it took y'all know i'm taking y'all into the bertoli y'all y'all don't see the bertoli y'all don't see what's going on with it it is delicious yes i did have a sample it is delicious the spinach is delicious as well you can barely taste it so yes it tastes amazing and over to the garlic bread give you guys a close-up on that garlic bread oh that parsley is showing out well all right you see me do it so you know I did it this is Arika Misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media guys at Arika Misha and don't forget that knowledge it's power take y'all back over one more look at those batolis all right, guys. Bye.